Hi, this is an intro level video into PC Drummer pattern creation. This is the PC Drummer main screen. Uh, the key parts to it are for this de for this tutorial are the pattern library and the active pattern. These are all the patterns that are currently loaded into the program, and this is the pattern we're work currently working on. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create a new pattern. So I right click. Um, in where I want to put the pattern in the pattern library and uh, say new pattern. This is called my new pattern. And now we're editing my new pattern. I clicked on it and I'm going to go ahead and move this up so we can clearly see what we're editing. These are the list of the. These are all the instruments that it can currently play. So key instruments for a basic beat. Uh, there's the bass drum, kick drum, um, the snare. There's two snares in loaded right now: an acoustic snare and electric snare, and hi hat. Key parts. So actually, let me go ahead and move move these all up together. And we'll work with just these three instruments right now. So very common time signature is 4-4. Four, four. So uh, we, it's basically quarter notes, but it's uh, divide, uh, every, every pattern is divided into four beats. So each one of these beats is a quarter note. Uh, the back beat, usually on uh, beats two and four and, and most and, and very commonly it's the, um, the snare drum is used to accentuate the back beat so and bass drum another common common pattern is the bass drum on the beats one and three and let's we'll see how that sounds Uh, let's try. Let's add some uh, hi hat, which is which is. Uh, let's play that first on the quarter notes. Let's see how that sounds. Let's try it on the eighth notes. So that's a basic, this is a kind of a bread and butter beat right here. And that whenever you create patterns, a lot of times this is a good starting place from it. The key things are, is uh, snare on two and four, um, and hi-hat and bass drum. So let's try some variations on the beat. Let's uh, change it up. Let's add a, uh, let's on, on the kick drum, let's add uh, another beat here. And and another hit right here and let's see how that sounds and I'm gonna go ahead and try some variations let's see this is uh, let's let's go ahead and it's right now every beat is divided into two parts let's divide it into four so basically now every beats a quarter note so these are uh, sixteenths. Now these are sixteenth notes here. And sometimes it's useful rather than take away some of the mechanical sound, we can change the volume of the of a uh, uh, of how hard the instrument is played. So let's go ahead and like kind of all the way down to almost ghosting. So let's try change the volume level to half on this one and see. Go and play that. Ghost it even more. I mean, uh, lower the volume even more. Like a little more subtle. All right, let's go back to let's go ahead and erase that variation off of here and go back to our basic uh, pattern.
and we'll try let's try a little uh, changing up the the snare a little bit let's try uh let's add it let's add another snare hit here so let's oh put on add and what the hit level is and add another snare beat snare hit All right, so we tried some simple variations on the on the the bass drum and the the uh, snare drum. So let's try uh, let's try a variation on the hi hat. And, and one and what, one thing we can do is we can play with an open hi hat. And let's move it up here. This is what we'll be working with it. And let's say instead of instead of uh, on, on this particular uh, hit right here, instead of doing that, let's play an open hi hat. Doing that. What Pizza Drummer does is it leaves this open, it leaves that sound open until the hi hat closes here. And all I did here was I changed the number of divisions. All right, let's crank up the tempo up to 130. Let's so basically now we have our basic beat, and let's go up here. And let's actually let's rename it to basic beat. And let's say we want to do, let's add some fill. So let's go ahead and make a copy of that. So we're going to keep that as, you know, say for our song, that's the basic beat we're going to use in the song. So let's go ahead and make a, we're going to now make a, a variations, add some fills, uh, slight variations on the, on the beat. So let's go ahead and call this one, uh, let's call this one basic beat with crash. Now we're down here, edit now, let's go ahead and click on that. So now we're down here, we're going to edit the basic beat with Crash. So it's going to be the same beat. We're going to add a uh, Crash symbol to start off the pattern. Let's see how it sounds. And now let's try. Let's add. Let's let's create. Another, let's do another one, and we'll do like a, a simple fill. So we'll go ahead and uh, copy our basic pattern, and uh, we'll call this one. We'll call this basic beat with fill, fill type number one. We're down here editing fill type number one, and let's see. Let's this this key here. Like if once it, when you have instruments all spread out through here, sometimes it's useful to to use this. It basically moves all the instruments that are being used up to the up to the top here. So let's go ahead and for a fill, let's do a tom fill. So basically, what we're going to do is we'll, we won't do the snare on beat four. Let's go ahead and take that off and erase that. And fill number one, erase the that and we're going to do a tom fill so let's find which toms we want to use let's use like a, maybe a uh, medium floor tom I mean sorry uh, uh, a basic medium tom and we'll add a couple hits on the tom and we're going to play and see how it sounds And mm, let's say we didn't like that, so let's try. Let's try a different. One. Let's try. Um, let's try low, low. Or, or I, I, let's try going from a high-sounding tom to 
the lower and then a couple on the, the mid. So let's see how that, see how we like that. All right. So now we have a, the basic beat with the one type of fills. So the fills are in the last part, last part of the measure. Or, so, um, so basically, the drummers would be playing this with his right hand. Right-handed drummer would be playing this with his right hand. And this would be the kick drum, and this would be his left hand. So let's see. If you want, you can you can actually space it out like you, you figure out which which hands um, which hands the drummer. And see if the, you can kind of tell from this like the, if the drummer could possibly play this. There's no there's no uh, no snare beat in here because the drummer is playing like two on. Two on this time, two beats on this, two hits on this time, and two hits on this time. So we've created three patterns now. Let's look at them. We have our basic beat. We have our basic beat. We have a beat that starts out with a crash, and we have one pattern that has that uh, has a fill. You know, I'd use this compress to pull all the instruments together. So let's just, let's put these together into a song. Let's just let's what we do is we drag the from the pattern library, we drag over to the song, start out with the basic beat. Then let's move in our basic beat that has a fill at the end. And then we'll the next one will be a crash. So this is typical we have a, a the the pattern ends in a in a fill and then the next thing that happens is a a crash symbol so it kind of caps off a fill so let's see how let's now let's play it and then let's do one the beat to kind of finish it off let's go ahead and play our song and see how it sounds so when creating, you know, when creating fills, uh, I would say uh, the key is they generally are at, at the end of a pattern. Um, think about what the drummer's doing with his hands. Uh, you know, the kick drums with his foot. Think about what the drummer's doing with hands and 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 basically try out different combinations with the uh, with the toms and the snare and um, and see and just. See how it sounds. See, see if it's what you're looking for. See if it's something you like. Um, let, let me go ahead and um, let's go ahead and let's change instead of uh, let's make another fill. Let's make this fill be a, be one with snares. So let's go take out. So now we're working with fill number two. Let's take out the the toms and we'll do a snare. We'll do, do a fill with the snare. So add some. See, let's play that. And it's useful. This is these are like always the same exact volume. It's useful to kind of switch off the volume and it sounds more realistic. So let's see how it sounds. So, so basically, the, the elements of the fill typically are toms and uh, the the snare. Another thing you can do is, it, it, given with the basic kit, there's there's the uh, uh, there's the acoustic snare. There's also another snare in the kit, the basic kit, the electric snare. Uh, go ahead and. Uh, Another thing, let's, uh, let's see. It's, let's try. Let's let's try with a different snare sound. The basic kit comes with two snares, so let's try. 
let's um, let's ins let's try instead of the, the acoustic snare, let's do the electric snare. And we'll, we'll make it so we can switch back and forth. So here, let's try it with the uh, electric snare. So we can swap back and forth. For two different for two different sounds. The uh, this whole the, the instruments here come from different kits, so we could uh, we could reload a whole different sound use just loading a different kit, but the pattern the songs would all be the same. Just the instrument sounds would be different. Uh, this is the end of the basic uh, tutorial for pattern creation. Pizza Drummer is available at pizzadrummer.com. Thank you for watching.